that's escalating across the city right now. We're talking about catalytic converter thefts from vehicles, and thieves are now using stolen tow trucks to strike more efficiently. Here's Fox 9's Paul Bloom. I'm not quite sure because it kind of woke me up, but I want to bet they were in and out in five minutes. Jason Grote tells me he has now witnessed two attempted catalytic converter thefts in his Minneapolis neighborhood in recent months, including one just last night, explaining it is the loud sawing beneath a vehicle parked out on the street that's caught his attention both times now. Electric, it sounds like maybe a handheld, you know, something like anybody would use, you know, for fix it stuff around their house. Catalytic converters contain uh, precious metals, and those metals are being sold uh, for obviously for profit. Minneapolis Police spokesman John Elder reports catalytic converter theft spiked more than 450 percent in 2020 from the year prior, a trend continuing on an upward trajectory through January. And more concerning, the thieves are getting even more and more emboldened now. Check out this home surveillance video Fox 9 obtained from South Minneapolis just last week. It is lightning fast, but you can see a pair of stolen, stripped down tow trucks now being used to grab a vehicle, giving quick and easy access to the exhaust emission control device on the underside of a car or truck that might bring in 500 bucks in raw recycled material. They pick up a car, uh, just take two wheels off the ground, pull it a couple blocks down, crawl underneath, cut off the catalytic converter, and then just set the car down and leave. So they're not taking the whole car, they're just doing this. If the car is elevated on one end, it's much easier to get under to cut. Elder says unlike with pawn shops and stolen goods, the scrap metal yards that might buy the precious metals from a catalytic converter aren't regulated in Minnesota. The team at K&K &K Metal Recycling along 2nd Street, though, promising they have safeguards in place to make sure nobody's profiting off the current wave of street crime. Thieves are not our target market. Um, when it comes to any kind of scrap metal. And a couple final points here. There is some proposed legislation at the Capitol right now that would better document the sale of catalytic converters and the scrap metal they may contain. In the meantime, MPD very much putting this crime at the top of their priority list, explaining right now Honda SUVs and Toyota Priuses remain extremely hot targets. Reporting in downtown Minneapolis, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.